is the argument. So if, if you take a ball, bx naught epsilon, that's a definition of this, of this ball. The claim is this is an open set. That's what we do. Look at this. We have to, in order to justify that claim, we have to show that every point in this ball is interior point. So every point in this ball belongs to this ball together with some other ball around it. Visually, it seems, net, it, it seems like a clear thing. Formally, that's how you do it. There will be some important piece which you have to mention all the time if you do something like this. You can say it in different ways, but there is one ingredient which must be present. Otherwise, the solution is not complete. And here it is. So for each x in, this, my, ball, in my ball, that's a randomly chosen point x, uh, we need to show that there is another ball of some other radius, delta, that's the symbol for this radius, such that this ball belongs to this blue ball, the original one, in its entirety. This symbol says subset. So look what we do. The content of the presentation is presenting this choice of a ball, or in this particular case, presenting of a choice of a radius of that ball, delta. And that's what we suggest for the radius. If you take delta, epsilon take r, where epsilon was the radius of the original ball in R. Look what the R is. R is the distance from my x naught to x. If you take such, a, such delta, then I have to convince you that this delta works. I mean, when I say works, it ensures this claim. So here's my justification for that. To, 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 to show this claim, I need to convince you that every point from this Delta ball will be also the point of the epsilon ball. So I take this every point, I just give a name to this every point, x dash. I need to show this implication. We still need to present some content, some justification for this implication. Look what we say. In order to convince you that this x dash in this ball, I have to measure the distance from x dash to x naught. So here we are, I'm measuring this distance. And what I say is this. I can control this distance by the sum of these two distances. Why can I do that? Why can I put this inequality on my slide? Or oh, actually, it's John and Craig. Hi. Thank you very much. It's a triangle inequality. That's the, that's the combination of words which must be present in your presentation. That's the ingredient which makes things work here. By triangle inequality, I can estimate this distance by a combination of these two distances, from x0 to x and from x to x dash. Each of them individually, we have some control for them. For instance, from x0 to x, it's the r distance. Here it is. From x to x dash, that's the delta distance. Yeah, because x dash comes from this ball. Now, if you just replace what the delta was chosen for, you end up with the epsilon. So you, I just convinced you now, with the help of triangle inequality, that this distance is controlled by epsilon. And that's the end of the proof. <laughs>